Texas is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cornhuskers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 36-yard line, first down. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it 39. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 49. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Combo, combo, combo. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 48-yard line. He takes it right side for a good game. Game of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First down. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Here's an opening inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Four down, four down. Zero, zero, Mike three. I go. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the three. From the three yard line, it's second down. Pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and a goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. The halfback with a carry. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it 77. Let's go, D. Let's go. Right around the 40. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Kill, kill, kill. He's on the run. Gains his way to midfield. That's a 
great tackle at the 38. He makes his way to about the 28. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'll be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Oh, come on, man! They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Right, right, tight right. Four down, four down. Fifteen's the mic. Fifteen. Black the five, black five. Green motion, nine. Motion, motion. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. Defense really fired up. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. And this play is number eight on the drive. We're going to go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? They go with a run. Tackled after decent pickup. You're not going to catch this defense napping very often. They were clearly ready for that run. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is up. And he got it. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7-3, Nebraska. Texas is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Almost intercepted. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Nebraska is up four. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a game made on the play. Third down. Attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. And the defensive line won that battle easily. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle at the 25-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Cornhuskers lead it by four. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Watch 15. Watch 15. Mike 15. Go! And he is drilled at the 41. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Number 17 makes the set at the 41 yard line. That'll bring up 38. 15's the mic. 
Gets it. He's in space. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He makes it to the 45-yard line. He's at the 30, makes it out to about the 23. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is the third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Slings it. They come out in a five-wide set. He's got an opening. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get him there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle. Nice move, and he scores. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. It was an 11-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He makes it to the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. He's to the 40, and they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike three. Mike three. Watch the run. They're running it. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. From their own 38 yard line. It's second down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. At 648. Check, check. Alert, predator. predator. Run. You'll get the call again. And he's leveled at the 47 yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That'll make it 35. They got to him before he could get back to the line. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 19. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas holds a field goal lead. 
The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. That reception good for around four yards. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Just throws this one away. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Roger, Roger. Watch 15. Watch 15. My Go ahead, two. Green, nine. <laughs> This one will fall incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Fourth down. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Nebraska's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Mike three, Mike three. Swings it out left to the halfback, and he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 20. Number three, Number three on the on tackle, tackle at the 20 yard line. First, first, first and 10, four ball on the 20. Down. Hey, number eight's Cohen, number eight's Mike, Mike. Mike three! Mike. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Brought down at the five yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the one. That brings him second and goal. Little handoff. They'll knock him down for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. He got the defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Nebraska ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws left, the running back's got it. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. The Longhorns call a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. 
we played a half of football here. The Cornhuskers lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Nebraska's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Tackle around the 29-yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29. Nebraska is up by four. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. He scrambled. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Mike three. Mike three. Fires to his receiver, first down. And he will score. What a display of pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches a ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a short three-play, 29-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 21-10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five wide. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Brought down in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. 
That'll, That'll make, make it, it fourth, fourth and two. two. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he has it on the corner. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. in the middle and that was a really well played series by the defense he really got a hold of that one Tackle at the 20-yard line. And Nebraska's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets out to around the 32. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Watch 15. Watch 15. Mike 15. Black five. Black five. Go. They'll bring him down at the 41. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. That makes it third and 15. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Going deep, lays it out there. Got him again. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. They make the stop at the three-yard line. No game on the play. That brings him second and goal. Easy, easy, three nine. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. It's second and goal. Eight yards out. Hey, look, we're gonna go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? Dog four! And he's tackled around the three-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That brings us fourth and goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. 
And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Nebraska is up by eight. Makes it to the 34. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Gain of one on the play. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down. Four down. Mike three. Mike three. Three down. Go. Two sixty-eight. He makes it to the 35-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. Nebraska's up by eight. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Mike 15. Mike 15. Fires right side. Got his tail back. He's taken down at the 32. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. That is a loss of three yards. That makes it 37. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 35. Gets to about the 47 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. That brings up second and nine. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Easy, easy, easy. He's brought down in the open field. They'll run it. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Up the middle. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play.
They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Up the middle for a nice game. Scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of seven yards. Go, That'll make it second and long. And he's tackled right away. Number 11 on the tackle at the 13 yard line. Mike 15. Third down. Mike 15. Great And he throws it away. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Roger, Roger! Watch 15. Watch 15. Mike 15. Six. Six. Guys, crucial two-point conversion. They'll try to tie this thing up. And it's caught for two. Two fantastic plays in a row. First the touchdown, and now the conversion. What a turn of events this late in the game. Texas is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Just under two minutes in the game. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to come up with a sack. From their own 23-yard line. Third down. He's going to air it long. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled to the 38-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they push him out at the 40. the 40-yard line. First down. He's hit and taken down. That makes it second and Under a minute left in the game. That'll bring up third and four. Dog four! Red seven, red seven. They go!
Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. The kick is away. And he just drilled it from long range. If they field the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. Sends it sailing downfield. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He wants it all going long. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 24-21, Texas. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.